Manitonk war das ein 80-jähriger Indianerältester von dem Stamm der Wampanoag-Indianer von der Ostküste Nordamerikas. Seit vielen Jahren reist er mit seiner Lebensgefährtin, mit seiner schwedischen Frau Elika, jeden Sommer durch ganz Europa und gibt Workshops und vor allem seine legendären Camps, Kreiscamps, wo man lernt und am eigenen Leibe erfährt, was es bedeutet, in einem im Kreis zu leben oder als, als Stamm in Gemeinschaft zusammenzuleben. Ich habe meine Tonkwart Medicine Story, wie auch genannt wird, das bedeutet, derjenige, der Geschichten über den Spirit erzählt, Geschichten über den Geist, Money Tonkwart. Ich habe ihn gefragt, was bedeutet eigentlich der Weg des Kreises? The system that uh, is or set of systems that are working throughout the world today have been developing for the past 5,000 years and they don't work well. There's a lot of oppression, there's a, a few very rich and masses of poor, and a lot of violence. Uh, it's not a very happy society. However, before that, we had societies that were very happy. They were peaceful, They took care of everybody in the group. And uh, the system that they all functioned on, all our ancestors, wherever they were, uh, I call the circle way because they lived together in a circle, taking care of each other from birth to death. Everybody in the circle took care of the circle and the circle took care of them. As I say, it was very harmonious and uh, it wasn't hard. It was, it was a very successful for 100,000 years. It was a successful way for human beings to gather. My uh, people on the North American continent continued that way until they were invaded several hundred years ago by the new system. And, uh, and now it's very... Only very few places where people can live completely in a circle. So, my elders said that human beings are supposed to live in circles. And that uh, as part of our instructions, and that's what, as Black Elk said, uh, when we were a strong and happy people, all our power came from the sacred circle. And as long as that circle was unbroken, the people flourished. So the elders were saying, the world should get to know this knowledge. And I've been developing it now for the past 40 years to the extent that I could see how it could be adapted today, um, not exactly in the system, but not exactly out of the system either. In, in, in other words, legally co coexisting with the current system, but developing its own way and eventually being completely self-sufficient uh, so that uh, people could live in those, in those old ways. That's what we've been doing in our camps for the past 15 years or so, developing this way of living so that for a week or two weeks, people come and live that way and uh, experience how it used to be for people in the old days. Excuse me, uh, Gabriel just said he wanted to eat an apple because of he saw the apple tree. Hey, hey. we gotta keep on moving. Never give up. <laughs> <laughs>